Good evening, folks. Coming to you live from Hollywood, California today. Another new location we're checking out. Ugh, it is 5.19 p.m. February 22nd. This is the first time ever that we're doing Hollywood with the sun up. So this is the second time I've done Hollywood on the Suron. But last time we got here, it was already dark. So today we're gonna explore for a little bit. The sun goes down in about 20 minutes. We're pretty late. It's, uh, yeah, anyways, we're gonna check out what we can. We'll do, we'll, we're gonna do, today is kind of like a scope out day so we can come back for another day and really see what's going on out here. It's gonna be fun either way though. I'm excited for uh, just to, uh, you know, we're gonna go to the Strip, Chinese Theater, and do as much free riding as we can. I don't really know exactly what we're gonna do, to be honest. But stay tuned. HicksFam.com Ultra B giveaway, one month and a couple weeks left. Uh, if you haven't got in there, now is the time. New stuff on the website. Uh, I want to thank these people. These are the top supporters. It's the last time that I named the last one. So, so yeah, if you missed out, I am giving away a Saran Ultra B, which is pretty much the best electric e moto type bike you can get right now and they're really hard to find i'm giving one away hicksfam.com every one dollar spent gets you one entry to win that bike i think that's it let's uh let's should be a good ride let's go okay oh they got the new prius nice car that she was not happy okay let's go ahead and get started with our favorite feature the double palm trees and look at what we got right here corvair Dude, this guy probably bought this car brand new. I swear, we see that all the time down in South Central. I feel like it's rare that we see it in nicer neighborhoods like this where, um, you know, it's nice. But uh, there you go. Starting off with double palm trees. So I don't ever really come to Hollywood. If you live in LA, like if you're a person who actually lives out here, most of us don't really come to Hollywood ever for any type of reason. It's like the number one place you want to avoid, right? Is the Hollywood Boulevard, the Walk of Fame, just that whole general area. We try to not come around it at all, right? For good reason. Uh, one, it's always packed with tourists, uh, cars like that, which could have taken me out right now if I was uh, a little more reckless, but I kind of anticipated that. <laughs> And just a multitude of other reasons. There's also quite a bit of crime on the Hollywood Boulevard. As uh, strange as that sounds, you would think it's like, it's a place that would be chill, right? But it's totally kind of not. It's actually, uh, I wouldn't say it's anything close to like downtown, which is ironic because downtown is somewhere I'm very comfortable riding. And I think it's a much higher crime level area than Hollywood. I think overall, there's uh, less crime out here than anywhere else, but I mean, anyone who, but basically, I mean, anyone from LA can attest to the fact that it's just, it's a little crazy out here, right? It's definitely not the safest place, but it's not necessarily dangerous. I don't know if anything I just said made any sense, but beyond that, we're going to be doing some exploring kind of in real time because I honestly don't even know where to find stuff to do out here, like riding wise. So it's already a little dim, kind of dark. I know there's, um, a lot to see out here but to be honest i just don't know where to find it i know how ironic that is because i am the la local tour guide pretty much anywhere we go i do want to check this out though this looks kind of cool the w w yeah we're not even gonna bother <laughs> this is Dale looking at me see one of the reasons i don't like riding in fancy places is because you just get kicked out pretty much everywhere immediately and it's just not that fun it's a lot more fun riding around for me in the hood because you can kind of just do what you want and there's nobody who's telling you to get out and leave and you know not to be somewhere or anything like that so we may encounter a little bit of that out here while we're in hollywood today but i think for the most part we should be able to have some free reign over what we're doing i mean i guess we'll see right <laughs> honestly I, we're gonna be playing this by ear the first place i'm going right now is the walk of fame uh the main part over by hollywood and highland that's um it's at least interesting to start there and we can check things out for a little bit before we try and move down the neighborhood to see what's going on last time i came here i was on my bmx bike and uh you know i was going about five miles an hour compared to on this thing where you can just absolutely zip around and uh get around the neighborhoods at the speed of light look at this one of these things this is something you only see out here really it's a food delivery robot taking the jobs one robot at a time. Any hope. Go ahead and keep mobbing down the boulevard. So we're in Cahuenga. We got still quite a ways to go before we get to uh, pretty much anywhere we're trying to get to. Uh, 
while we got stuck in traffic right here. Let's go ahead and zigzag it a little bit. Damn, there's a lot of traffic. So this road, Kahuanga, it rolls past the valley and it actually goes to the other side of Hollywood, which is North Hollywood. Uh, and that's kind of the first part of the distance that I travel when I go home. I go all the way further than that to Valencia. So if you guys go to Google Maps and type in Valencia, California, that's where I live. If anyone wants a perspective on how far I travel to come to the city whenever I come film. So uh, that's that. Anyways, we're going to make it right here on Sunset. And we're going to do a little bit of back and forth from here because Sunset, as you can see, is pretty empty. This is not so much a tourist route as it is just a very famous LA road. But once we go south here, it, uh, there's a few things to see, you know, there's a few um, things to ride as well. There's a lot of homeless out here, or at least there used to be. I actually don't know if there still is, or we're seeing a little bit right here. But uh, there used to be a pretty significant homeless community going just south of Sunset right here. Wow. That car came close. Alright, so we're going to see if uh, that is still the case. I actually don't know personally myself, so I guess we'll find out. It is a nice evening. We're kind of just getting out randomly today. I was at the house, and it's rare that I finish all my stuff before, like, noon. So <laughs> when, it's, when it's noon and I'm just kind of done with everything, I'm like, well, what do I do next? I guess uh, it's, I guess we go film. So I started charging my bike. It took a few hours to charge and got my stuff together. And by the time I got out here, it's already 5 o'clock. So it is sunset. But uh, we're going to still try and make the most of what we can while we're out here. Going against traffic, so we got that Lotus. That thing's clean. The only person I knew that had a Lotus was my buddy Graham Stephan. He has a Lotus, or he had a Lotus. I don't think he has anymore. Now he has like a Ford GT. He had a, uh, a Lotus Exige. And I never got to actually see that car. I was always very fascinated by Lotuses when I was younger. Just because I, you know, they were known as like uh, really tight handling, quick sports cars, kind of like Miata's, but just way cooler. And Miata's one of my favorite cars as well, too. So I always kind of wanted to see Graham's Exige, but I think he sold it by the time I met him. Maybe he had already had like uh, some type of Mercedes when I had uh, ran into him. And then he ended up buying a Ford GT, which is just, I mean, that's an upgrade <laughs> to say the least. That is a huge upgrade. We got a park here. I don't know if I'm really too interested in checking that park out right now. We have very little time left, and I don't even know how we ended up down here, honestly. We're gonna go ahead and cut back up from here. Okay, well, now we're here. We've got a nice motorcycle. How you doing? Thank you. And here's some of uh, here's some of the outskirts. Oh, they got a clothesline. That's actually pretty nice. Interesting. So as I said, we're just south of Sunset. We're gonna go ahead and make a left right here. So just south of Sunset. We're, right now we're on Sunset. Uh, all this south of where we're at right now is kind of the area I was talking about. So we're gonna slowly explore this area as much as we can. There's also a little bit to the right. The thing is, I don't know where I'm going here at all. So I'm just kind of like, I'm totally getting lost. But uh, it's, bro, those boots confuse me. I, the, the fact that they were on the ground like that, looked like it was, uh, someone got their feet chopped off. There's a big open field right there. I would love to explore. So we're trying to get the, uh, the off the grid areas kind of like out of the way now before the sun goes down and then we're going to cut back up to Hollywood Boulevard. So if you guys are wondering why I'm just in these neighborhoods, I'm literally looking around to see what there is to do out here. And so far, it doesn't really look like much. You know, it's definitely, definitely a little something, but it's nothing, uh, nothing that looks that too enticing. We've got a big building right here. We're going to go ahead and go around this and then we're going to cut up from there because we're already like almost on the other end of Hollywood Boulevard. That's kind of perfect though, because then we can just cut back. We do have a police officer. Surely they do not mind me. Hey, excuse me, which way is Hollywood Boulevard? This way? Thank you. All right, well now we know which way Hollywood Boulevard is. Very nice officers, thank them. Very nice officers, thanks to them for pointing me in the right direction, you know. 
I actually didn't realize of where I was right now. <laughs> Dude, maybe I should come out and ride here a little more often because uh, I thought that I was gonna make a right and be like right next to the, um, to the Walk of Fame, but we're barely on Highland and Sunset. He's on a e-bike and we got another robot. So they all have names. This one's named Ellen. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Ellen is on deliver. I wonder if he just picked up from Chick-fil-A. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, so here we are on Sunset. We're gonna go ahead and cook up Sunset a little further. So the Walk of Fame, like the, the, the part where people are, you know, at is right here, Highland going up. So that corner, it's pretty much like the middle of it, I would say. And then once you keep going further this way, it starts to taper off and you go this way, it kind of tapers off. So if we go right, right here, we're sort of at the epicenter, but we still, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of exploring. Oh, 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 we good, bro. Dude, he almost crashed. <laughs> he almost crashed on his bike. Yeah, they're watching me though. I'm gonna go ahead and keep on moving. Don't mind me, folks. This right here is my favorite spot. Ugh. I don't know how many of y'all thought I was going to say swag. If you did, you're old. I hate to break it to you, you're officially old. <laughs> this is one of my favorite BMX spots. Ugh. Oh man, my tires are so flat, bro. Straight up free riding on a Saron. So we used to love riding these ledges back in the day on the BMX bikes. I wish that, <laughs> how stupid is it would it be to try and grind on a Suron? I wonder if it's possible. Like you just kind of like, dude, I mean, you can totally put pegs on one of these. You probably immediately break something. Something's breaking very quickly. That's all I, uh, that's the first thought I have is that something's gonna break. I don't even know exactly what. But uh, you would definitely break something trying to grind on a Suron. But you could fit pegs to it. I don't know. Maybe that's a future video idea. I, hey, man. Dude, this spot's actually sick. <laughs> it feels so much smaller when you're on this bike, too. Let's see. Let's see if we can hit the whole triple set and then stop before getting run over in the street. This is the type of free ride that I enjoy doing. Oh, I think we could jump into the second set, honestly. If we hit it at the right angle. Dude, my, my back wheel is just suffering. Oh, okay. We're straight up shredding. No, that's such a big, actually, that's a huge leap. I didn't actually <laughs> think about how far that was. That's way further than I thought. Oh, man. Okay, we're at uh, Sunset and Orange. Dude, I just thrash my bike and it still feels pristine that's amazing this in and out is famous for not letting people film yeah that uh that's the guy right there i was actually watching a youtuber get kicked out of there oh no sorry a twitch streamer jenny ty jenny tty she was just here i was watching on twitch and they kicked her out and i think i have flat tires i do okay back's good I don't know if I have flats or if I just have super low PSI because I have been neglecting this bike's PSI. Dude, wait a second. Dude, I, I, okay, I don't know. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I think I have flats, but the thing about this bike is you never actually know because it just keeps going, right? Like, it just keeps going. And I always have low pressure anyway. So it's like, I can't even tell if I actually have a flat yet. I'll know if it actually goes flat, but I think I may have a pinch flat which is basically when you're, like your inner tube is going flat, but just very slowly, right? I think I have a slow leak though, which is basically when you have a flat, but it's slow, it's in the title, right? Uh, it, it starts from a pinch flat, which is when you pinch the inner tube inside the tire and it creates a rupture and uh, then it eventually goes flat. And I think that is most likely what I have because my pressure does feel a little off. Anyways, here we are walking in. This is the actual, you know, this is like the, the touristy famous spot where people come and, you know, and buy stuff and be tourists. They come walk up and down here and this is where that is done. I have shades on, so it looks super dark, but I don't think it's actually that dark right now. 
All right, let's keep it going. I can see. I just realized I had my camera pointed kind of down this entire ride. My bad. Hopefully, the footage is not ruined. Uh, but we will see. Look, we got another look. There, he's waiting for people to get out of the way. <laughs> <What> the... <laughs> That's funny, bro. Those things are hilarious. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and assume that either I have a flat in the front or I have completely drained the PSI from this front wheel because it is just, it's very low. But anyways, we just did a bunch of fun free ride. Now we're going to chill for a little bit, do a little bit of sightseeing ourselves. I got to have a flat. There's no way. Dude, I don't though. Like, what is going on? My brain is just... It's playing tricks on me. Oh, I'm in slow mode. That's what it is, bro. I was in I was in eco mode. I was like, why does my bike feel so sluggish? I was in slow mode. Actually, I should probably stay in slow mode while I'm chilling on the Walk of Fame, though. Honestly, that's uh, probably a pretty good idea. Anyways, we take a relaxed position as we chill down this street. What is this place? 25 degrees. That's probably fire. Interesting. Interesting. You know, I don't ever actually come down to Walk of Fame. We're going to cross back over. The fun is on that side, kind of where the, the train lets off. I think that's where the majority of uh, the people get off. Oh, we got an e-scoop. Interesting. It looks like a regular one, though, not like a fast, overpowered e-scoop. Let's chase a Ferrari. It's mandatory. It's mandatory to chase a Ferrari. Just to get a good look at it. What model Ferrari is this? Anyone know in the comments? It looks expensive. What do you guys got in a race? This stock Saran versus a, a $500,000 red sports car. Imagine if I just ran into this right now. My life would be over <laughs> in every single way because I couldn't get away. Even if I tried, I'm super identifiable. I'm all over YouTube. Like I'd be so screwed. Uh, so even riding this close is a huge risk. Uh, cool. Anyways. That completely distracted me. Just the sight of a red sports car. I am like, my attention span is non-existent. <laughs> wow. Anywho. All right, so we completely went off track again. We're gonna try and fix that right here by popping up back against the road. Oh. I feel a little sluggish, man. I think the battery's starting to degrade. JK, I don't have a full charge. That's uh, what's going on today. All right. So as fast as we just got completely off track, we're back on track. And uh, now we're going to slide over to the Walker Fame. We're gonna take it nice and easy from here on out. Uh, we're just gonna do a little bit of sightseeing and that may, uh, I don't know. We're gonna see what happens next. It's already getting kind of dark a little darker than I expected it to be at this time so we're kind of just you know seeing what the vibe is right here oh look at these Oscars take a picture with your own personal Oscar not a guy named Oscar a uh, Oscar award and I'm getting waxed very cool all right back on the walk of fame I've never actually taken one look at the actual walk of fame I don't even know who's on it <laughs> I have no idea we got Mickey Mouse right here though if you look too long, he will start jumping you. <laughs> Mickey Mouse will jump you if you look too long and don't pay him. Chinese Theater, GTA 5 location. I'm sure all of you know that one. I don't even know why it's like a tourist spot like that. It's cool, but it's just a theater. I've never seen a movie at the Walk of Fame Chinese Theater. I had an opportunity to once when I worked uh, in production at a job at this uh this office where they like were a movie studio ad agency kind of is one of the jobs i had before i made youtube videos and there was a movie premiere i don't even remember exactly for what but i had an opportunity to watch a movie there but it was like i had to be there for five hours and i could not leave early like i had to be there sit in my seat for like an hour before the movie started and then do some other like q a activity and work the entire time it was like a job so it wasn't like i was just chilling but um, that was my one opportunity to be at the, that Chinese theater for free and I did not take it because I was like, you know what? I'd rather have a day off. I don't actually want to work today. So that's pretty cool. That <laughs> dog looked like he was ready to bounce on me. This is the Walk of Fame. I'm, I'm keeping it moving because if people, everyone here is kind of like working, right? In a sense, they, they're asking for tips, donations, whatever you want to call it. 
So if you stop too long, they're gonna start hounding you for tips. So that's why I'm kind of just continually rolling along right here, not really stopping for any one thing. Um, so anyways, but this is the Walk of Fame, you know. I'll probably come back here another time in the daytime. So this part right here around Highland, this is where like, I wanna say 90% of the crime happens out here. Maybe even more than that, maybe all of it, honestly. Like maybe all of it, <laughs> straight up. Maybe all the crime that happens in Hollywood goes down right here. We were gonna cut across, that was stupid, I know. Folks, if you ever see me in these videos, don't ride like me, I ride like a complete idiot. I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. Um, but yeah, that intersection is very dangerous, bro, very dangerous. So sometimes they have the street take over there, you know, where they lock off the intersection and do donuts uh, in the street. I was gonna get off the <laughs> into the street, but it looks even slower than going on this slow street. So we're just gonna go ahead and, and chug along for now. Uh, but anyways, yeah, they have the street takeover there sometimes, and it is uh, it is a crime hotspot. And there was a very tragic shooting there. I want to say that was last year. It may have been even longer than that. Maybe even two years ago at this point. So that's another reason I don't really come out here that much. I mean, if you're looking for drama, you'll find it out here. Road closed. Oh, they got a movie shoot. I would assume. You know, it, well, you know it's funny, you could totally get down here if you wanted to. This road is blocked off, but it's illegal for them to actually block it off. So if I wanted to traverse down here, I could. I'm not going to because that would attract a lot of attention that I'm not looking for right now. But uh, you, there's nothing stopping you from actually going down that road if you want to. When they're shooting a movie out here in LA, you can just go down it. You know, I could pop a wheelie down there if I wanted to. But we're not going to anyways. We're going to go ahead and keep on moving for now. Just chugging along. So... Now that you guys have seen the Walk of Fame, we're pretty much uh, past the fun part. Let's go ahead and throw the gas on real quick. And start moving. Look, he's got a unicycle. Or whatever those are called. I think it's called a unicycle. It's funny that those are called unicycles, but you just kind of stand on it. Like, isn't a unicycle something? Like, isn't the whole point of it being called that, that you're, like, balancing? I guess not, right? Because a bicycle... It's an electric bicycle, so it's an electric unicycle. Electric bicycle, you don't need any bicycle skills to ride one. You just need to be able to sit and pull a throttle. And the only balance you need is one to not fall off the bike. Same thing with that. The only balance you need is to not fall off of it. But I've tried to ride a unicycle before. I tried to ride one when I was like 10 years old. It's really hard. So it's, it's a little bit different of an experience, I'd say, than one where you have to pedal compared to that thing where you're just kind of like standing there and floating it's more of like being on one of those hoverboard things remember those hoverboards that completely took over the internet in like 2015 2016 people were riding them in skate parks and stuff yeah i had one i actually had two i thought they were the coolest thing ever i would ride around them under my apartment i think i may have actually filmed it at some point i don't know but uh we're just cooking down hollywood boulevard man it is it's pretty dark as far as I can see through my shades. I, it's, it seems dark, so we're kind of just pushing back. Right on the outskirts of Hollywood Boulevard, they got a whole uh, production cart. That looks like a production cart. We used to use these for production. I think that, oh, it's definitely for a property, I think. I was about to say, maybe it is just for a production that they got going on right here, but I don't think that's the case. Lots of trash strewn about right here. Uh, this is kind of, we're so far off the edge of the boulevard, it's kind of like the, uh, you know, no tourists are going to be here, so we don't need to worry about the appearance of it too much kind of area, so to speak, which is uh, hilarious, right? Um, but it is what it is. You know, I would like to do more Hollywood rides because it's closer to where I live than downtown even. It's just, I feel like there's really not that much to do out here, but maybe if I had someone I knew who rode out here, or just knew kind of where I was going in any sense. It'd be a little bit more fun, but uh, we still had a decent ride today, you know? It was still fun. Back on the double palm trees, one of the best parts about LA is seeing streets like this, folks. You can't beat it. Coming down one, your mood is just instantly improved. What can I say? It reminds you that you're in one of the greatest places on earth, if you think so. I mean, a lot of people have their opinions on it, but I think it is. I've done a lot of traveling too, and I do genuinely think LA is one of the greatest places on earth, at least to visit and ride around on. Living, eh, you know, to each their own, I guess, right? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more Hollywood Boulevard action from Hollywood with love, people. As always, 
I thank you guys for watching Hickfan.com. If you want to support me and what I do, get in there, spend a dollar, you can win an Ultra B. That's it. As always, thanks for watching. See you again very soon. Peace out.